This is the unboxing of an eyepiece. I think this is the one I received from Spain. Let's just open and see what is inside. Okay, let's see what is inside. Oh, another pack. Hmm. So, let me open it. Hmm. Let's see what is inside this. Okay. Some bubbles, bubble wrap. And this is the package, so I have to take this package. Let me just take it away. Okay, this is the package that I've received and it looks something inside it big chunky. Let me see. Hmm. Oops. Nicely protected. So, what is written in it? Kendrick Astro Instruments. Mm, these are twisty, so I have to twist. So, it has a William Optics uh, cap. So, is it a William Optics? Something related to William. Oh! This is a eyepiece attached to a camera adapter. So practically, you can use a A4 call uh, eyepiece photography. Digiscoping, perfect for digiscoping. So that's for DSLR attachment to any other camera that you may have. So there's the screws here. So practically, this is a uh, Scoptronics Max View 2 multi coated eyepiece, and this can be pulled up and down so you can separate this also. So, this is a two inch eyepiece. So nice eyepiece. Two inch max view two. So you can actually adjust and bring your camera into focus with this. Okay. And you can practically remove this top and it changes to an eyepiece on its own without anything else. I wonder what's the focal length of this. Okay, this is a 40 millimeter eyepiece, two inch eyepiece. So 40 millimeter, quite light for that, so I can use it more than the others. And with this, you can also get a very wide angle of view, wide field views, hopefully, or at least lowest magnifications of the star fields. So quite impressive to, uh, <coughs> to have such a thing. I already see the Andromeda Galaxy's full widths in this. <laughs> I don't believe it. So this top part can be opened. And there is a screw here. You can attach it probably to the, IP, uh, to the camera adapter. Or T mount. And this one also comes off. So you have two more here. This can be used as a normal eyepiece. If you just do it here, there is an eye guard here also. Or you can use this adapter on top of it. Looks quite complicated and uh, well designed. Let me just see if I can attach my T adapter into this. So this is the Max Bright 40 millimeter, and this is the EDAT Skywatcher EDAT Pro series. And let's see how the image looks. So that was a view. I'm really pleased with the view. That view is really wide, more than 50 degrees. It's around 60 degrees probably. 
really impressive and it's two inch and it's not very heavy so it can be used with uh, two inch adapters yeah the image is really good it's bright and it's nice and uh, for this to attach it to a, my camera we need a 58 millimeter to 42 adapter to 58 to T adapter uh, uh, attachment i don't have it so i have to get that but i don't i don't want to use it like that but anyway the ice piece on its own is a bargain so the rest of it will be coming into shape when i have that adapt and that's the moon so i'm using the uh, Scoptronics Max View 2 or 1 yeah. Max View 1 eyepiece on the stars with the uh, Skywatcher Evo Star 72ED it's a uh, chromatic telescope so we don't have a problem with the colors I must say the field of view first of all is very wide you just see the very thin line of the body of the eyepiece, practically a spacewalk experience. The image is bright everywhere. So let me just see how it is at the edge. Yeah, the image is very well shaped, the stars are round, up to the 85% from the center, 15% to the edge. Uh, they get a distorted edge of, edge of the image. The stars will develop a little bit no tail and what I should call that uh, it's not astigmatism because that should be around the edge parallel to the edge um, anyway the name of it I would tell when I looked but that's that is the but it's better controlled than most of the other eyepieces so to me the field of view of this looks around 65 to 70 degrees really wide and I should remind again, this teles uh, this eyepiece has a 40 millimeter um, focal length, so it's really low magnification, so it gives the biggest portion of the sky visible. Compare this uh, scope view Max Bright or Max um, yeah, Max View, Scoptronics Max View One. With this uh, <clears throat> University Optic Koenig 2 32mm eyepiece, uh, I told that this one must be 70 to 75 degrees. If that is so, this 40mm one must be around 80 uh, or less than 80, 75, 76. So this can be 65 to 70, I think, the field of view. And this one has a field of view of around. Uh, 76 less than 80 degrees between 75 to 70 uh, to 80 that's interesting i found it very interesting this conic 32 millimeter and celestron 450 millimeter plus the eyepieces are parafocal i don't need to change the focus when i uh, change the eyepiece between them uh, this one is not so I have to really go inward when I take one to see the view. With this one, I have to come outward. So interesting observations. Among these three, which one I prefer? This one has the lowest mag uh, highest magnification, 32 millimeter. I think I prefer this one. But both of these are nice. This has the widest field of view with anything. I mean, widest. Uh, or lowest magnification of any of the 50 millimeter one. I see a bigger expanse of the sky, of course, is a plus 52 degrees. This one gives a really wider field of view than Koenig 32 millimeter. But the image quality in this is better than that. With the plus the image quality is the best, but I'm not sure I can see the faintest star with this. With this, I can see almost all the faintest stars. And this one's similar to this, but uh, a little bit uh, 
distortion at the edge shape of the stars this one is better than that in the control of the aberrations distortion 